kisses. <laughs> that dog's tongue is the size of your face. Sunday night, you probably saw that we went away from our usual schedule and posted a video at night. Spongebob reference there, at night. But we posted it because we wanted to say thank you. Thank you for letting us reach 32,000 subscribers. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, everything that you all do just to keep things positive in this community. Thank you all so much. We appreciate you guys so much. For 32,000 subscribers, our comment section is actually pretty positive most of the time. We're so appreciative for that. We never thought that would happen. We never thought we'd get this far. To be honest, we really never thought we would see 32,000 subscribers. We're so appreciative to you all. More videos are to come. We are working on a few. We're so, so, so grateful for you all. We hope you enjoy the videos. Tell us down in the comments, what is your favorite type of video so far? We'd like to know. We're trying to figure out what we should do more of, what you guys like. We're just trying to gauge everything. So, if you would let us know, that would be appreciated. But we do appreciate you all, already. So thank you all so much, and enjoy the rest of this vlog. So you all might remember this cute little robot dog that I skinned. And I'm going to do something with him. Well, the next victim is a cat. I need to take all the skin off of this robot kitty. Then I will have a cute robot dog and a robot cat. We're going on walksies! We're excited? going on walksies! No. He's like, come on, mom! I don't think he's excited. We're going on walksies! I don't think he's excited. Hey, hey, no biting that. He's I like, don't, I don't think he's excited at walksies. all. You see this? No. I, don't, I don't think he's. I, I don't think he wants to go. There's no excitement here. Nah. There's teeny tiny whines in his voice. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go. The sad thing is, this cat actually looks kind of realistic, and that's making me really upset because I'm sorry, kitty cat. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a cute little kitty skinned rug. You never know. I feel really bad right now. Yeah, I will. Robot animals are cuter. What a lovely spring day. Mm. Finally have a lovely spring day. Finally, lovely day. It has been nothing but... Extreme storms. Oh! I want this. Here. Bay. Make a wish. Make wish on this. You boom right at me. It's not as cute as it looks in the movies. We've had nothing but storms lately, so it's kind of nice to get out in the day when there's sunlight. You do it. I do it? We have no lung power. These are so tough. No lung power. <laughs> yeah, I did it! Hey. It is blinding rain out. You literally cannot see past the tree line over there. This is intense and we just had a lightning strike hit way too close for comfort. We've had two so far hit way too close to comfort tonight. Scary stuff! Our lights keep going out every time lightning strikes too close. Scary scary. These mushrooms have grown everywhere it's been so wet. Hey! So springtime means almost con season. I am so not prepared. I feel like this is deja vu because it is. We're walking the dog talking about how we're not prepared for con. For con. Man. You'd think we'd learn. You would think, In all but... In years, you'd think we'd learn. Said every cosplayer ever as they prepared for con unprepared. unprepared. We don't have a lineup or anything yet though. But I think we're gonna do some ham steak and some anime and some night veil. Vale. Yeah. Maybe kick it kick it old school with some anime. I really actually want to get out at least one anime character. Yeah, I think getting out an anime character or two would be great. I haven't done those in a while. I've got so many in the in the closet. Just waiting. Do some throwbacks, man. And we're getting things set up for some throwback videos, so might throw back at some cons. I'm so excited for and Rabbit has something very special already planned out and I'm excited to see what comes of that. Well, that's gonna be great. Yes. 
Rabbit actually makes really great videos, guys. Like, no joke. She's funny as heck. She's very funny as heck. You probably already can tell, but no, she's very funny as heck. <laughs> Here's the pelt. I wasn't able to save the face. Here is the cute, adorable robot looking cat that I was able to get out of that. And sadly I put in batteries and he doesn't seem to be working. I'm going to see if I can fix him and stuff like that, but I think that is freaking adorable. I like it a lot. Now I have a dog and a cat. I've got uh, a booth at the local gay pride uh, festival that I've been working towards too. Yeah, yeah. Which decided to happen, you know, less than a month before the con itself. <laughs> so we're kind of rushing a lot. We want to increase con panic mode by a lot. <laughs> Thanks for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just love pride a lot, okay? It'll be all right. It's all fun stuff. So, oddly enough, with everything that's going on, I do have an empty commission queue. So if you are thinking about commissioning, this is the time of year to do it. Send me an inquiry via email, preferably. The email address will be in the description. Um, otherwise, we also are putting a lot of the stuff I'm making for Pride up on Etsy. So lots of new products going up, some glitter jar necklaces and some, you know, various types of new pride necklaces, cute stuff. There's a rainbow with a paw print on it, and all sorts of other stuff. So definitely check out the new stuff going up on Etsy because it'll be all the stuff that I'm going to be selling at my pride booth. So if you're not local, you don't live in Oklahoma, you can totally get the same stuff off of Etsy. Hi, buddy. Don't worry, Carlos won't hurt you. He promised. Okay? No need to worry. Unless you figure out a way to escape this cage. Then I might have to hurt you. Keep doing that thing, nature. Keep doing that pretty thing. Nature does the nature thing, and it's amazing. Gotta love springtime. Oh, after a long hour walk, he finally has a nice drinky drink. He had so much fun, he didn't want to stop. So I am super happy to announce that they've gotten much taller. Look at these little things grow. When you steal your brother's clothes. Machado, don't steal your brother's clothing. She's like, I wanted this harness. It is a beautiful harness. Actually, she's kind of pissed at me for putting it on her. She's just laying there like, how dare you? How dare you? My new wig! And any guesses of who this is going to be? It has purple tint to it. It's a black wig with purple tint to it. Any guesses of who this is going to be? Also, we're going to try to do a wig cutting video for it, so stay tuned for that. I got my new wig, and it is so beautiful. It just needs cut, and so we'll make a video. Sunflowers just keep growing. Grow, grow, grow. Well, we picked up this really, really strange horse. Yeah, it's a really weird horse in my back seat right now takes up about the entire entirety of the backseat. This is Bella. We are not keeping her, but she is a Great Dane, if you can't tell by the size. And she was at a house. They can't keep her anymore, so we are transporting her to a foster family. But it's a long drive, so we volunteered to do it. And she is a sweet little angel. Yes, she is. I've actually wanted a Dane for a long time, and I know I can't have one right now. Maybe when I'm much older, but this is getting me geared up for remembering just how big they are and the transporting situation because I have a sports car with leather seats, and as you can tell, that's not probably the best idea for a great Dane. Very strange horse. Very strange horse. But she is so sweet. It was a heartbreaking goodbye, but she's going off to a very happy, nice foster family who will love her and take care of her. And I think that's all that the owner really cared about was making sure that she went to a safe, happy home. And that is where she's going to be going. Doggy taxi. We're just, yeah, we're doggy taxi. We're doggy taxi today. Oklahoma's big and there's a lot of space in between the towns and it. So getting a large animal from one place to another is sometimes really, really hard out here. It's just long stretches of nothing road. 
so we had the extra time and the dog needed help, so we're driving. Driving, driving. We're used to driving for cons, so it's not as if this is anything new. Yeah, no, <laughs> we're really great at road trips. Road trip! Road trip! Look at the size of this car. It puts the size of my hand. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of that car. This is very puny compared to you, but would you like a cookie? Teeny cookie? You like the cookie? No! The cookie has been rejected. It is too small for her. So now we're just waiting for the ride. We're waiting for the person to come pick her up. Her new foster family. She's so well behaved. Great, great dog. She says, may I please have some water? You may have some water. <laughs> Drooled all over my window. Drooled all over the window, like it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Drooled all over. Thank you. In the bucket. In the bucket. She's such a good dog. Look at them flappy ears. Them flops. <laughs> them flippy flops. <laughs> Flippy floppy ears. Some flippy floppy ears. You want a Dane, babe? Yeah. One day. So. One day. One day. One day when we have the space. There you go. Hi, sweet baby. Going on at home soon. Sorry, this has been so stressful. Such a weird day, huh? No one cares for you up when you're a foster kid. <laughs> been watching Annie lately. Now we got our own foster kid to make sure it goes to a good place. Oh, and you're good, huh? You sure got some paws, man. Jeez, I know. Louise. Her that paws is a look. lot of paw. <laughs> her paws the oh size of your hand. That's a lot of paw, baby girl. You're just a big puppy. She's a weird horse. You are a weird horse. Kisses. <laughs> that dog's tongue is the size of your face. Indeed. I'm very wet now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the love is worth it. She's so sweet. I love her. She is going to be going to a really awesome Dane rescue here in the state. And they're going to foster her, get her checked out by a vet, see what all's up, and then they're going to hopefully be able to adopt her to a really great family. It's still pretty sad she had to leave her old owner, but also, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for the best of an animal. And so, she will get the best care with this organization. We really trust this organization. So, I am glad that we were allowed to volunteer for them. For a day. I think it was a good day. What do you think? Good day? Good mm -hmm. day. And very good dog. She's now been on the car for like two hours. So she's really, really tired. You've been a really, really well behaved, Missy. Thank you very, very much. You've been so well behaved and I hope this new home has everything you could ever ask for, okay? You're a good, good girl.